everybody, welcome to a video about a beta version of Windows Vista, which is no doubt going to be the most depressing, hateful, worst video, even worse than Sonic Crackers, but we'll get stuck into it anyway. So this is a version of Windows Vista which is pre-released when it was codenamed Windows Longhorn, and we can see a few differences straight off the bat. First of all, it's kind of like a weird sort of midway between Windows XP and Windows Vista. Uh, it's very much Windows XP skinning engine still in here. But we've also got, if you can see the recycle bin, some Windows Vista style uh, icons. Uh, well, this is quite clearly the Windows XP start button, but with the word start missing. And that's just uh, sort of a hint as to how it would look in Vista later on. Kind of gone with this pretty decent grey scheme. Notifications are really interesting. If you look at these, they look completely different than they have ever done. There's kind of this weird effect when you hover over, which brings up an options folder where you can dismiss the notification, uh, don't show it again and you can also just close the notification there. This is like a uh, widget sidebar which is something that would be in Windows Vista but it wouldn't be quite the same as this so you can see that there's a clock widget at the bottom there and when you click on that it opens up a full clock and calendar which is pretty neat, I quite like that and when you go through the months it does a different picture and uh, so yeah that's pretty decent uh, you can see here that there's a very quick search widget, um, some strange thing going on here with the chat, I'm not sure what that that is to do with, and uh, you know, quick icons and stuff like that. So yeah, like I say, this is very much based on Windows XP, so if you click on the start button, that is quite clearly the Windows XP start menu, and it's just been made grey. All the usual Windows XP stuff is here, Internet Explorer, email, and MSN, and Windows Messenger for people who remember that and uh, that's not going to work anymore unfortunately we also have a very weird fading effect which is for some reason very slow on this version and uh, it's like the fading effect that was in Windows 2000 and XP but it's just been slowed right down for some weird reason notepad has a weird icon which it uh, doesn't retain but it's just the same old usual notepad and uh, if we have a look again in uh, what we've got here, it's basically just what you'd usually expect to come with Windows XP. And uh, there's not a lot of uh, extra stuff here that isn't in uh, Windows XP. If we have a look at the Windows version, you can see this is Windows Longhorn and it's build 4074 and this was released way back in uh, was that 2004? yep 2004 I think so that's quite interesting this was still very much based on Windows XP as you can see it even still has all the Windows XP um, wallpapers in there but obviously they've replaced Bliss with this new wallpaper which is of a much higher resolution if we go into my computer you can see some of the crazy changes which never really lasted um, although they did sort of end up in Windows Vista in a slightly different look but you can sort of see the beginnings of Aero taking shape with the merged window chrome at the top uh, back and forward buttons which are a little bit like how they ended up in Windows Vista uh, this star button here which is favourites and uh, I imagine that Internet Explorer would have ended up looking a little bit like this as well uh, you've got the address bar there when you click on and as you can see yeah, your file edit view tools have been merged into this uh, bar here at the top as well uh, all the drives are kind of categorized in this interesting looking way so floppy drive, CD drive, uh, local disks and stuff like that and you've got uh, separate, uh, separate folders which does end up uh, coming into Windows Vista but not quite in the same way uh, so there's a folder for games, contacts uh, communication history so that's like your email history and stuff like that uh, photos and videos gets put into one of these as well music and documents so they're a bit like the libraries in later versions of Windows by default it appears to hide the contents of your hard drive to prevent you from messing with things that you shouldn't mess with which is something that Windows uh, 2000 and ME did and I think Windows XP did that as well to be fair very quick access to search using this uh, magnifying glass here and the search is quite easy so if we search for say uh, midi town.mid which is normally in every version of Windows so this is uh, the games folder which also ended up in Windows Vista again it looks a lot different from the final version and uh, this was kind of supposed to be like a games hub 
and a bit of a weird graphical issue going on here but you've got games where you can play online and it's got like a, a lobby matchmaking type thing which is interesting I don't think that feature was in the final version of Vista if I recall uh, all the usual stuff internet reverse blah 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 solitaire so all the games are the usual thing and the 3d pinball is in here hooray from Windows 98 plus why that never gets that's done some weird stuff and of course you've got a good old Minesweeper just a Windows Longhorn screensaver logo which is uh, the default screensaver there's n not many other screensavers they've stripped out all the usual Windows affair in this uh, there's a photo slideshow fascinating and there's a default blank one as well so this on the right hand side here is actually a replacement for the system tray uh, which is this here and as you can see this is where your windows messenger and stuff like that so in the final version it was more traditional the windows tray ended up down here and as you can see when you press this button it collapses back down into the usual position it's a little bit of a shame really I think that was a nice design and they kind of half, half went out on it and just made the uh, sidebar like a little uh, additional application that run on startup as opposed to an integral part of the OS and the features of the taskbar and I think that's a shame because that's quite a quite a cool design uh, I quite like this uh, popping up here to sort of give you more information on the side that's pretty cool just added a few extra gadgets onto the sidebar just to show you what they're all about there's the uh, slideshow picture and also it would find people who are nearby I suppose that would be using uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or something like that to find our people on the local network uh, RSS newsreader uh, something called basket I'm not really sure what that's for I think uh, in fact we'll experiment with that if I go on to uh, let's go on to my computer and go into this what if I drop that there oh, that's pretty cool I'm not entirely sure how that works to be honest with you it's a very curious thing hmm well, that's called basket anyway I'm sure it did something important I just don't know what it is uh, you can pin your contacts on here as well so from messenger and outlook and things like that the control panel is just the usual Windows XP control panel although you'll see the addition of this rather bizarre parental controls option which looks really weird and this was an introduction to uh, limited accounts so this is where you could stop uh, certain accounts from playing on certain games there so uh, I think they've got well, that's, so you can limit by uh, Peggy rating and stuff like that the Untersholting Software Slabelskids Controller sounds German to me the Office of Film and Literature the Computer Entertainment Ratings Organization, Peggy, and of course the ESRB if you are American. So there's a few different themes that come with it, not just the Slate one which is there, but the beta version of Windows uh, Vista had a few, so there's this Jade one as well which is more of a, a lighter grey colour, which is actually looking a lot more closer to how uh, Aero does in the final version, uh, once uh, glass has been invented and stuff like that. Uh, I think we've still got default Windows XP in here, but it doesn't seem to change the start menu, but it, d it doesn't change the taskbar, sorry, but it does change the start menu and everything else. So that's uh, pretty ugly, if you if you don't mind me saying so, although I always thought Windows XP was quite ugly. Slate's the default, and of course you've got your good old Windows Classic. But it's interesting how the taskbar isn't changing in any of this, and I'm wondering whether there's been some major changes to how the taskbar works uh, in this version of Windows and this is almost like it's um, sort of pinned over the old school taskbar there's some really low level changes to how the taskbar works in this which never made it to Windows Vista and they backpedaled on all of this so interesting to note nonetheless taking a look at this version of Internet Explorer they do appear to have actually gone with the uh, styling of, of the rest of it which is quite interesting I'm wondering what version of Internet Explorer this is. Um, 
try and find out for you. So this is a version of Internet Explorer 6 which explains why it's actually a dog turd but interestingly it's uh, Internet Explorer 6 which is taking on elements of the Internet Explorer 7 style. Um, there's no tabs in here at the moment but it, it does look a lot closer to IE7 than it does to IE6. Having said that it does look like a kind of weird mashup between the two. In terms of Windows Media Player, it just comes with the uh, bog standard Windows Media Player 9 series. There's nothing particularly exciting or different about that at all. And in inexplicably, it also comes with the old school Windows Media Player from Windows ME. Not really sure why that's in there, to be honest with you, but never mind. More the merrier, I suppose. What's that? That's, um, that's a really old version of Media Player, 1999. Fair enough. That's the old Windows ME style logo there. I don't know if you can see that Internet Explorer logo, but it's kind of like a really weird glass version of that logo, which I've never seen before or since, so don't know where that came from. Anyway, in conclusion of this little beta version video, we can sort of see that in this version of Windows Vista, there are still a lot of similarities to Windows XP, and it's quite blatantly based on Windows XP. A little bit of how like the Chicago video I did was very similar to Windows uh, 3.11 when that started out. Uh, there's some interesting low-level changes to the taskbar and system tray which never got carried forward which I think is a, a crying shame because I think that would have been a good thing. Um, but otherwise it's Windows XP with a slightly better skin on it. Um, seems stable enough but I'm not really using it for any practical purposes and the setup did blue screen on me a few times before I could get that to work so uh, anyway, this has been a beta version video on Windows Codename Longhorn, and I don't know why I've made it, but here we are. Here it is anyway. Enjoy it, and I'll see you on the next video. Ta-ra!